Hi guys, this video is going to be quite easy because it's a beginner video and it's about how to make a slow picture video, so like a slideshow kind of thing. And I'm just going to quickly show you how I would do a slow video like that. Just like a star across my sky, just like an angel off the page, you have appeared to my so let's go into the program and first thing you want to do is actually choose a song and then import it into Vegas so when you have a slow song you are going to need to change your pictures um, when the words change maybe or the or when the next line comes in so let's listen to um, this song just like a star across my sky Just like an angel of the page So with this I'm going to decide where I'm going to change my pictures and the first is easy because it's going to be when the uh, singing starts so right here Just like But we are going to need to fade that in so it's not too um, harsh or quick and then we are going to need to decide when it's going to change into the next picture so let's listen just like a star across my sky so i'm going to want it to be about here so when it just says just like a star star so we are going to drag the next picture to the place where we want the change to be about there and the last one is going to be like a star across my sky right here when she says sky so bring the third picture right here make them a uh, transition and now we are going to just look if it fits the um, song yeah. okay so you can see already that it comes in way too early so let's change that like this Just like a star across my sky And maybe adjust it a little bit more Like this Alright, so when you have your pictures changing when you want them to be Click on the event pen crop icon right here Right click and match output aspect if you want a full screen effect And um, when I make slow videos I try to change up how I move them so for example you can zoom in, you can move it up or you can move it down or you can zoom out, you can also rotate the picture a little if you want to. So for example with this I'm going to move it down a little and make sure that you don't uh, move it too much so because it can be too much for the eyes. So I'm going to show you what I mean about that but for now I'm going to pan crop this picture. So again right click, match output aspect. With this I'm going to zoom in. So let's go to the end and zoom in. And with the last one I'm going to place it right here and then move it upwards. Maybe like this and uh, let's play it back. Right now I'm highlighting the part that I want to play back and then pressing Shift B so it loads in and it won't like that much. Just like a star across my sky. Okay, maybe I'm going to move this a little earlier. Okay, so if you zoom in way too much like this and then move this up. this much and then let's make this one move to fast too just so you get the effect what I meant just like a star across my sky so for me that is too fast and that is too much for this song in particular if it's a faster song you can get away with it but if you like it this way you can do it so it's there are no rules you can do whatever you like whatever looks good to you but I'm going to just go back to how it was alright you can if you want to add transitions but with slow songs um, I find it hard to find the right transition because I don't want it to be too intense or too harsh or too fast so what I like to use is actually 
just only a few ones so for example the cross effect and let's add this one or just a random one select blur but that is too much so blur it a little bit less and with this let's do maybe if you have your new blue motion blend I usually use roll um, and spin for and maybe zoom for uh, slow picture videos I'm going to use the spin one but make it spin a lot less again because it's a slow song and maybe just spin the second picture and now let's see how that looks just like a star across my sky okay maybe i'm going to just reduce this a little bit like that and you can add the coloring i already applied a uh, coloring here so i'm going to right click and click enable all so you can we can see this if you don't know how to make coloring uh, I already have a tutorial on that one and I'm going to link that in the description box below and with the coloring it will look a lot better because a coloring can add so much to the video just like a star across my sky try to use high quality pictures when you do slow videos because most of the time you are going to be zoomed in because you are going to make it to full screen so if it's a lower quality picture it's going to be very uh, grainy and not so pretty when you have your pictures edited so the video basically edited you are going to need to render it out so I have the sequence that I have made right here so when you're going to render it you are going to need to add an input key and an output key by pressing E where you want to start rendering and pressing O when you want to end rendering and uh, what I usually do is actually render out the video without the coloring first because uh, if I add the coloring to it and try to render it it takes a lot longer for me for my uh, laptop so I'm going to click on this render as icon and I usually render in mp4 and I have my settings like this so uh, HD resolution my frame rate is 29 and my bitrate is uh, 8 million so I, ju I just click save and when it renders I'm going to add another track make only this one visible and I'm going to quickly import that import in that rendered out uh, video so let's drag this one here I'm going to remove the audio track of this rendered out uh, video and then I'm going to add the coloring so enable it enable all and then render out it again and after that you are going to have the rendered out video with the coloring on and there you have your video you can also add overlays if you want like flashing lights or something and I'm going to quickly show you how that works so I import in the already done video and then add another track and I'm going to quickly look for an overlay let's add this one put it on top remove the audio track of the overlay and change the compositing mode to screen like that and I'm going to show you how that looks My sky, just like an angel of the page, you have a pit to my so obviously this overlay is a little too much for this video but you get what I mean so just add the overlay to another track and set it to either screen or maybe add or either what else lighten it's your decision but this is how you can make this so this was my not so quick um, tutorial about slow picture reading if you have any more questions left please leave them in the comment section below and i'm going to talk to you guys soon bye